Hello everybody, Paranoid FPS Gaming here with another video and a gay kid in the background who I picked up from the street. He said he'd pay me if I did some unusual things to him and I agreed as usual. So today is an unboxing video of the Razer Anansi. It's an MMO gaming keyboard by Razer. And um, if you if you enjoy giving it to other people in areas that may or may not be discussed in this keyboard's for you. So now that we got the box out of the way, it is a, another box with, I don't know if you would be able to see it, but it says for gamers by gamers with Razer's logo in the middle of for gamers and by gamers. It's pretty clear here, but I'm not sure how that'll turn out on the camera. So this keyboard should just open up right like this. Yep. And inside is the keyboard, has the cords back here. And then the keyboard, the actual keyboard's right here. All right. So let's get right into it then. And once the keyboard is out of the packaging, you see it has more extra little protectors on here just to make sure everything's not going to get damaged in shipping. So after all this gets off, you can see the base of the keyboard, which could be used for multiple counts of rape. But after, uh, you see it has the, the extra seven programmable keys on the bottom here. There it's T1 through seven, below, right below the keyboard. And on the side, you have the regular macro five macro keys there like most gaming keyboards do now they're basically copy and scuff it's copy and scuff Devin, do you want to die you know how much better razor is than scuff no i mean like just their whole idea obviously obviously but i think this came, this came out like two years ago this keyboard and on the top you see it has the regular media keys f1 through 12 and uh f1 2 and 3 can be used for volume, and then F5, F6, F7, and F8 all are regular buttons. Let's say you listen to music in the back of a game, and you don't want to go out of the game to pause the music, you can just press the keys there. And then F11, um, you see it has a little button with a little scope there. That is for the. That's for. Shooting. Whenever you are. Let's say you're in, like, CSGO. If you're playing Counter Strike Global Offensive. Um, and if you ever hit the Windows button, like, if you're playing a game and you hit, you hit the Windows button and it takes you out and then takes you out of the game, brings you to your desktop, the Windows menu pops up, and. Then you have to go back into the game, wait for everything to load up and such. If you press that button um, while in the game, that turns it into gaming mode, which basically just disables the Windows button so that doesn't happen. So that's a pretty cool little feature. F12 is used for the bite brightness of the colors on the keyboard, which aren't on right now, obviously, because it's not plugged in, which I will plug in here in a second and show you. And then uh, on pause break, you see it has a little moon there. That's for sleep mode, just to put your computer into sleep, a little shortcut there. And that is really useful. Instead of having to go up there and sleep, just brings you back to wherever you were last before, so you don't have to shut your computer down and then reboot it and all that. So I guess I'll take this out of this box, and we can look at it more in depth. Also in the box was the little note that you get from every Razer product. Put the keyboard off to the side there. I'm going to plug that in in a second and show you some of the different color options. And um, then I can show you everything in Razer Synapse 2.0 that you can do with it and how all that stuff works. So if we look at this, it looks like it has some text on it. It has the Razer logo. And then it says, oh, for gamers by gamers. Okay. And then here it says, Welcome to the Cult of Razor, right there. And some stickers! I have like 40 of these. And then uh, in that little package, it also includes the 
message that you get with every Razer product, as I said before, that just that just shows basically what the um, item is about, what it can be used for, and all of that such. And then here is the Razer Anansi MMO keyboard manual, so it shows you how to control the keyboard and all of everything like that, which I will show you here now. And another thing to notice quickly before I plug this in, this keyboard, if you follow the wires here, does take two USBs to use. One is for just a regular, like a regular keyboard would, and the other USB down here would be for all the information for the macro keys and the extra keys that on the bottom there. Um, so that's what those are for. So if you do buy this keyboard, make sure you have two USB slots open. Hello, everybody, and we are back. I got it all plugged in, and uh, the drivers are installing and everything. And as I said, this is two USBs. So you have to have both USBs plugged in in order for this to work. And um, the default one is it's going to be switching between all 16.8 million different colors. It'll just sli uh, smoothly transition between all of them. I'm not sure how well you can see it because of the whole lighting situation. All right, what about what about that? You can see that better there. So as you can see, it's gone from like purple all the way down to red now. It's changing to orange and then into yellow and then it should go into green, right? Yeah, it's changing into green. So it's just gonna switch between a different bunch of colors and then um, in Razer Synapse, which I will show you here in a minute, it you can go in and change what all these macro keys can be used for and what these seven buttons down here can be used for as well. And then, as I said, this button right here is used to determine the brightness of it. I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see it just because of the whole lighting situation right now. But you can also set it to where it's just one solid color like you'd have it set as just a red or a blue or a green or you can have it set to any color you can choose from the 16.8 million colors that it already has on Razer Synapse for you and you will need Razer Synapse in order to configure this keyboard and so as long as you have Razer Synapse and you have two USBs um, 